and here's my silhouette here and i'm gonna go back to my seven yard mark which is right here do a little double action with this tour 605 let's see where i'm hitting Not the best group in the world. And for some reason my earmuffs are not working. I'm gonna put on some other ones. So I'm gonna slow it down here. Seven yards and see what I can realistically do. These hand loads do shoot a little bit high for me. So I'm gonna aim about the neck area of that headshot target. It's a little bit, eh, it's about the size of my fist. Seven yards, see what we get. I'm not able to group them super tight today. I don't need to miss one. But I think I could tighten that up if I tried a little bit more. So I'll go for about the number nine down there on the bottom of the target. That's funny. And I, I knew these kind of shot high and I, all I did was pepper this <laughs> aiming here. That's interesting. You guys know I love shooting my long range metal tank. It's 15 inches tall, 12 inches wide. I go back to here because it's 50 yards. White tank over there. The aim at the bottom of it. Oh, I pulled a little bit to the, to the right. I hit it, but <laughs> I wasn't intending that shot to go off. Another hit. Another hit. Oh, a little bit to the right. I think I'm out. Yep. I always like to test my flinch. And I flinched a little bit there. So... Interesting. I never shoot my 342 here. Never. Very rarely. But this thing actually shoots low, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe this will shoot a little bit better for me. Uh, if point of aim, point of impact is 158 grains. So I'm going to shoot to the left of the head on that uh, that headshot target there, um, into the white on the paper, and just see where these hit for me if I aim about mid mid head area yeah i pulled one but they are they are parallel with where i was aiming here pretty much that's always been an issue for me with that particular revolver all right, I'll shoot a few more with the revolver here, and I'll switch on to something else. I got a bunch of 9mm ammo. About five yards. <laughs> I pulled one to the left there off in the white. The rest of them are hits. All right, it's pretty cold out today. It's like 40, a bunch of wind. All right, seven yards. G2C, I've oiled this significantly and cleaned it. I'm gonna see if this shoots a little bit better with the steel cased ammo. Seven yards at my mini silhouette here. Very low and to the left.
can't say I'm hugely impressed with the accuracy. This happens every time I film my first shot with the Taurus, even though it's not in some different trigger mode. I don't know why that is. I don't do that with any other handgun. It's kind of strange. So I'm going to compare 605 to that with 38s. Do most of my shooting at five yards, but I've been doing seven yards today. Go for the head on that target. See how this compares. And I don't know. Group size is probably a little tighter with the revolver. Um, I had this for a year though. I don't know. I don't know what to think. Right, here's a 50 yard comparison. The uh, J frame, air light. Um, see how this does, because it shoots pretty good with my 158 grain ammo. So let's try the Taurus first. 50 yards and see what I'm getting. A little bit to the right. I think I got it. There we go. There we go. Do it again. This trigger is so weird. What I'm having is issues here where this trigger safety has to be perfectly depressed like you're using your finger tip and if you use anything else like I do it causes it to catch see how it's doing that it's catching kind of strange it's a little bit weird so I've never had any other type of trigger safety do that before all right switch to the 342 here see how these rounds shoot just aim right on it Hit. I think I grazed it. A little bit left. Hit. I don't know. <laughs> so I compared the G2C to the 605. Uh, let's see what we get with the 342 here. I'll go for the eight or so. It's the kind of group I can get from seven yards. Yeah, that's a number eight. I think I got the eight. Barely. No. Well, all right, let's go for here with something else. I don't know. Got me some gold dots, 380s. Funny thing is this LCP has not been really reliable, but it shot real well for me. That's where most people say they can't shoot it real well. All right, I'm gonna go for the seven on the right. Not much in the way of sights, though. I pulled that one real far. And that's funny because I'm aiming in the same spot, but they kind of group in the same area, aiming right here. So <laughs> my fingers are freezing. Oh, I got five rounds left. Can't waste them. All right, I'll go from right here. This is about 45 yards from that tank. Do some single action, see if it makes a difference. Hit. Oh, missed it. Hit. 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 Pretty good. Well, that's all I got for now. Uh, 
messing around with the uh, first person view of this camera. So thanks for watching.